One of the distinguishing marks of a Christian is the inability to find joy in sin. A true believer cannot live in peace when sin is present in their life. While no one is perfect, a genuinely born-again Christian who sins feels a deep sense of conviction and cannot simply ignore it. They cannot continue as if they haven't grieved the Holy Spirit. Those who freely live in sin, enjoying it and disregarding the Lord, have hearts that have grown hardened towards Christ. They no longer care. But for someone who has dedicated their life to God, they are quick to repent, to pray, and to confess their sins. The Amplified Translation of Psalm 34 verse 18 says, The Lord is near to the heartbroken and saves those who are crushed in spirit, contrite in heart, truly sorry for their sin. Brokenness is a necessary attribute for a believer, it must be part of our character as Christians. The Bible tells us that God is close to the brokenhearted. But what does it mean to be brokenhearted? What is brokenness? Brokenness is not about having your heart crushed or being overwhelmed by the enemy. It is the process by which God brings us to the end of ourselves, leading us to complete trust, love, and submission to Him. Through this process, He smooths out the rough edges in our lives and removes all that is not of Him, all impurities and unrighteousness. In Hebrews 12, we are reminded, Do not despise the chastening of the Lord, nor be discouraged when you are rebuked by Him. For whom the Lord loves he chastens, and scourges every son whom he receives. The process of brokenness means that our personal pride must be stripped away, our will surrendered, and our hearts must cry out. Thy will be done, O Lord. Brokenness should not be avoided, it should be embraced, as it produces the fear of God and fosters growth and maturity. It brings us to a place of repentance, where we can genuinely turn away from our sins. True prayer comes from a clean life and a broken heart. When we have an attitude of self-denial, saying, Thy will, O Lord, Thy name, Thy kingdom. It is from this perspective that we should pray. Therefore, it is essential to approach God with humility and a broken heart. In 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, the Bible says, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. The Bible urges us to humble ourselves, to come to a place where we are willing to serve, serve Jesus Christ, serve the body of Christ, and serve His kingdom. The second point is to pray and seek His face. Psalm 42 verse 1 says, As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, O God. There must be a longing and yearning for God in our hearts. The Lord desires that His children not only pray but also seek His face. Meaning we should not just present our list of requests but take time to commune with Him, to build a relationship with Him. God wants us to fellowship with Him. Matthew 6 verse 33 tells us to seek one thing above all else. But seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. God wants us to seek Him first. The third point is that we should turn from our wicked ways. Our God is holy, and He has called us to be separate from the world, meaning we should not engage in the sinful practices of this world. We ought to turn away from them. If you desire to turn your life around, do it the way God has prescribed in 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14. As His Word says, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. Humble yourself, pray and seek His face, and turn away from your wicked ways. Now let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, the name that is above every other name, we bow before King Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you for your love in our lives, for your mercies that are new every morning, and for your power that wakes us up each day. We commit and surrender ourselves completely into your hands, spirit, soul, and body. Mold us and make us the best we can be for you. Fill us to overflowing according to your will, O God. We desire to be more like you, Father.
Make us true ambassadors who represent you to the world by spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ. I pray for the boldness to preach Jesus to others. Lord Jesus, remove and empty us of everything that is evil and corrupt. Fill us with your Spirit. May our lives be completely consumed by your power. Like Paul, may our hearts declare Galatians 2 verse 20, I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Consume us, Lord, our thoughts, our words, and our intentions. May they be pure and pleasing to you. Psalm 51 verses 16-17 says, For you do not desire sacrifice, or else I would give it, you do not delight in burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, these, O God, you will not despise. I pray that through the brokenness of our hearts, our lives may be transformed for the good and benefit of your kingdom. I pray, Father God, that my life may be a clean field where you can plant, grow, and harvest kingdom fruits that will last, fruits of love, peace, long-suffering, and joy. We pray, Master, that brokenness would be our lifestyle, that it would be the condition of our hearts. Help us, Lord, to approach your throne of grace with boldness and a humble spirit. May we always come to you with expectation and a yielded heart. I pray that we may be like clay in your hands and that you, as the potter, may mold and shape us into whatever you desire for your use. Psalm 24 verses 3-4 asks, Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god. Help us to have clean hands and a pure heart. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. We bless your holy name and thank you for hearing this prayer for each person who is in agreement and believes. Make a way for us, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray, Amen. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit, contrite in heart, and truly sorry for their sin. If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their land. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Who may ascend the mountain of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? The one who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not trust in an idol or swear by a false god.